it gets in you and it sucks. Hey guys, this is my review for The Ruins. Now, some of you might be wondering, why the hell am I reviewing this movie from 2008? Well, I just finished the book that everyone kept on telling me that I should read, and it's kind of boring. To be honest, I don't know how this book is 500 pages long with no chapters. It literally is just continuous text with like a slight gap in between the lines to when the narrative moves to different characters. I will admit, I can understand why this would have been a cool idea for a movie, and I understand that the movie could have cut out a lot of the boring crap in this book, because honestly, this book takes a long time to get going. Once it does get going, like page 200, it is an interesting read, but then once you get to the end, you just feel cheated because everyone dies. The movie itself is about five teenagers who, on a whim, go to this ruins area in the Cancun area mainly because one of them, Matthias, uh, his brother is there. And once they get there, they are then surrounded by Mayans with bows and arrows because they're at the foot of this temple. And one of them steps foot back into the vines and instantly they are forced up on top of the, uh, the pillar. And what they have to do is try and survive on the top, all the while finding out that the vines are evil and eat people. So what I found was interesting is that the movie took a little bit of differences from the book. For instance, at one point, Amy in retaliation grabs the vines and throws it at a kid who's with the Mayan group and he gets hit by it and the Mayans freak out and they shoot him. And I like that because I wondered why no one tried that in the book. And then in the end, the movie's ending is actually, in my opinion, better than the book because at least something happened. Whereas the book just is like, yeah, mm, mm, mm. whereas the movie has a somewhat resolution to it, but a mystery that is an intriguing mystery. The movie itself, however, has completely rewritten the characters. They did do a few things different, some very little for the better, and some for no reason at all. For instance, all of the main characters in the movie, Jeffs, Eric, Stacy, Amy, and uh, Matthias, Except for Jeff, everyone has a different story arc and different character traits for no real reason. Matthias makes sense because they cut out the Pablo character and admittedly having a character speaking in Greek would have just been annoying because the characters have no idea what he's saying. So really, we as the audience should have had no idea what he was saying and that would have gotten old really, really fast. So I understand why they mix Pablo and Matias together because in the book, Matias doesn't do shit either. He literally has no difference between him and Jeff. However, Amy and Stacy are reversed. They have totally different traits and in fact, Stacy becomes Eric in terms of the self-mutilation. So I don't understand why they changed the traits when the book technically had it right. And I actually like how the book came to its finale with who was the last one alive because it went against the norm, but then it just kind of doesn't bother doing anything more with it. And probably one of the biggest crimes that this movie does is it tries to cram almost 300 pages into the final 30 minutes. The pacing for the film isn't that bad. It does everything pretty much by the book. The vines themselves actually are somewhat uh, horrifying, but however, they go a little bit too far. Like at one point when Amy and Stacy are down trying to look for the phone, the vine straight up grabs the torch and sucks it in. It's like, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think of a uh, plant creature would openly swallow fire. The movie, admittedly is almost as long as it should have been. It, like I said though, it crams that 30 minutes in. They have all this infighting that makes no sense only if you read the book. It has this want for self mutilation that again was only really explained in the book. When you try to cram so much material into such a small amount of time, the character's mo motivations or actions are going to be so ridiculous in terms of how quickly events are transpiring that the audience themselves is not going to be able to catch along and it's just going to be lost in the dust and we're just going to be sitting there going, whoa, that was dumb. So in the end, The Ruins is a pretty crummy movie, but then again, the source material itself is not as ooh as everyone says it is. At least that's my opinion. 
So in the end, I'm going to give the movie a 2 out of 7. Mainly this is just kind of retaliation because a lot of people told me to read this book. Like Stephen King here says the best horror novel of the new century. What? What? No! Anyways guys, that's all for me. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time.